I can talk about my experiences with Martin Luther King. I met Martin Luther King, and it was kind of funny. During my summers of 66 and the summers of 67, I sold Bibles door to door. Okay. Which in itself is a character builder. Yes. Anything um, selling door to door is, right? Well, to me, and, and that brings me to somebody else, too. There were guys in my life who are also giants in Oklahoma that you don't hear about too much. There's a guy by the name of Claude Evans. Um, he was uh, one of my fraternity brothers at Oklahoma State University. There was a guy by the name of Wilbur Thomas, another one of my fraternity brothers, and a guy by the name of Ken- Kenneth Kimbrough. Kenneth Kimbrough and Claude Evans had sold Bibles the summer before. That, would, that meant the summer of 65 because they were upperclassmen to me. So the summer of 66, they talked me and Wilbur into going to Birmingham, Alabama to sell Bibles. And it's kind of interesting because when you think about what was going on in the summer of 1966 and the summer of 1965, Birmingham, Alabama was not a place that you really wanted to be. For whatever the reason, we didn't think about that. And it's really kind of interesting because we worked for a company called the Southwest Company out of Nashville, Tennessee. And we really didn't know where we were going to go, where they were going to send us until we got there. So they send you, send you to uh, Tennessee. We go there for a week of training. Then they say, okay, your group is going to go uh, to, to Alabama. And so you get there, and the first thing that happens is uh, the guy that took me there, which was Claude, was Claude, dropped me off on a corner with a box of books and $5. <laughs> <laughs> and me and my roommate, James Alexander, another friend, and all of us are frat brothers, too. That's, yeah, the, yeah. that's, that's a whole other story. Um, we get, we, we, we are comfortable, and it's kind of scary when you think about it. Here we are, I think we're about 19 years old, and we're, we go to Alabama, do not know a single soul that didn't come there with us, and they drop you off on the corner. We were a member of the fraternity called Alpha Phi Alpha. Um, James and I have a national book that tells where all who all the members are. James picks up a number at random in Nashville, I mean in Birmingham, Alabama, and calls this guy and say, "Hey, uh, we're in Birmingham. We're here working for the summer, and we're looking for a place to stay. Can you help us?" The guy says, "Yeah, we have a frat house, and what we we need somebody to kind of take care of, be caretakers of the frat house." If you guys are willing to do that, you can stay there all summer. No choice. And we're like, what? Jackpot. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. Yeah. So we do that. Um, and, 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 and you talk about character builders. One of the things that, that I, I believe in very strongly is, is marketing and selling. In fact, I was talking to somebody this, even today. If you don't understand that selling is about selling yourself first, then you don't understand salesmanship. Because the product is okay, but you got to sell yourself. Okay, now, here I am. I'm going door to door. I pick a street every day. And all the, all the houses on this side and all the houses on that side. So I'm going to the door. And I'm gonna put you in a place, here's somebody knocking on your door. And you get to the door, you're not happy to see that person because that person interrupted something that you were doing. If it not, wasn't nothing but sleeping, they interrupted that person. So you got to think about ways to get over that hurdle. Um, what I discovered was nobody was going to let me in their house if I walked up to their door mad, sad, or unenergetic. So we, I had to build my energy. And so I had this thing that I used to say, in fact, James, my roommate, and I, we would walk down the street together and get so high, by the time we knocked on the first door, we knew that we were gonna sell. And the thing was, we would just walk and say, I feel happy, I feel healthy, I feel terrific. I feel happy, I feel healthy, I feel terrific. And if you didn't feel that way, you just kept saying that until you did. So we'd go knock on the door and didn't sell a Bible. We'd go knock on the next door, got cursed out. Go knock on the next door, there's nobody home. Go knock on the next door. Um, there's somebody there, but you, did, you didn't make a sale. So you knocked on five or six houses in a row. By then, it's easy to be discouraged. And what we decided was that we, it, it's kind of, I don't call it scientific, but after a week or so, I discovered that, like if I knock on, if I talk to four people, I'm gonna sell one. 
And so you think about that and you say, well, what does that mean? That means I had to get four people to listen to me. So one of the things to get people to listen to you, people want to listen to you if you're excited, if you are interesting, or if you have something that's important to them. So one of the things we did was I always would feel that I am doing you a favor and a service by bringing this Bible to you. Yeah. I also am going to entertain you. <laughs> And it was amazing to me. I bring energy to it. And people would just come to the door, and we would start talking just because of my energy. I could see that I was attracting people to go forward. So then it's so important, and a part of my lessons are, is whatever you're doing, whatever it is. I don't care whether you like it or don't like it. If you can't be enthusiastic about it, you're wasting your time. Right. And Again, later on, because I also have an MBA, I learned as, as a part of a manager, you really, really have to kind of get your head into the game because you want to get other people's willing, willing um, um, acquiescence to go along with what you're doing. So it ended up that I just felt that there was no such thing as, as a no answer. I learned that lesson that summer. I learned that if you keep at it long enough, you're going to succeed because... To be honest with you, probably three out of four people that were selling Bibles would quit before the summer's over. My goal that summer, and this was summer 1966, was to buy a used 1963 Chevrolet Impala SS. I don't know if you know anything about that oh, car. I love cars, so I do know about okay, it. Okay, yeah. that was what I wanted. Okay. By the time I got about two-thirds of the way through the summer, I saw that I was making enough money that I was going to pay my college off that year. And I could buy a new car. And seriously, when we came back, there was three of us that were new guys. One of them, one bought a GTO. Yeah. One bought a brand new uh, Chevrolet SS, me. And the other guy bought the brand new Mustang. <laughs> and when we hit campus at Oklahoma State, we were hot. <laughs> <laughs>